Hey everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we are going to talk about an indie brand by the name of Cara Beauty. I actually, I didn't discover them. My daughter discovered this brand on Instagram and she put me on. So I don't know if you guys have seen the High Times collection on Instagram. Bang. These palettes are all upside down. <laughs> These palettes look like this, whatever. You'll, you'll see them. So she put me on to these, which prompted me to buy these palettes also, but they no longer have the bundles for either. They still have these on sale, but they don't have these on their website anymore. I'm just going to show you guys a quick glance of what these look like, but of course I'm not going to display them on my channel because you guys won't be able to have access to them. They're no longer available, but definitely play with these. So if you're interested in seeing what I do, with Cara Beauty, by all means, stay tuned. But before you get all cozy, there is a, a subscribe button. Lord have mercy, clearly I haven't done this in a while. There's a subscribe button located right over here. Alongside of it is a notification bell. By all means, click both so you don't miss another video from your girl. I say this every time. I know they're far and in between, but your girl works for a living, has a family, has her own personal life going on, and as much as I would love to do this full time, it is not in the cards for me currently. So I definitely want to put out content as much as possible. But I'm still trying to live. <laughs> so I, I gotta do what I gotta do. But thank you so much for that. For those who have stuck around, Lord knows, I appreciate every last one of you that show support, that leave me comments, that let me know that you guys are still in tune and waiting for me to come back with something. I also want to thank you, say, say a thank you to the new subscribers that have, you know, gotten some, some faith in me and decided to take a chance on this 41 year old woman doing makeup. I honestly appreciate it. So thank you so much for your support. And so let's, let's get started and let's play with some makeup. Hey everyone. Welcome to my channel. There is a subscribe button that's located right here. Alongside of it is a notification bell. So I decided to do my brows and one eye off camera just to save time because your girl gets to talking and rambling and not really sure what I'm going to do with the eyeshadows that I, I put in front of me because I never really have a plan. But anyway, so this is what I came up with. So of course we're not done. We got to finish it off. But I definitely wanted to to start off doing something with this look. So this is what we have so far. So you'll be able to see, like you can see what blended well and what hasn't, but we're about to do a demonstration so you can actually see it. And while I'm doing this eye, I'm gonna go over the palettes that I'm using one, the price and all that good jazz, okay? So when I first bought these palettes, I had bought them in a bundle. They were roughly around either 34 to 36.99. They no longer have the bundles to get all three. So they are $14.99 sold separately. And the first one I'm going to show you is Girl Scout. And so you have your blues and your greens in this one. The next one is Orange Pop. You have your oranges, your yellows, and a few neutral colors at the bottom. And this is Purple Haze. You got your purples, your pinks. And some yellows and all three palettes have these pressed glitters in them and I also after I have bought these and <laughs> I actually um, tested one of the palettes on my husband because he fell asleep and his face was just available so and I was like oh the quality of these eyeshadows are really really good and so I was like okay well let me go ahead and get the other set of palettes that I thought that were unique and I wanted to give a try. So it was all four of these. Again, there's no need to even discuss like how much these are because they're no longer available except for the Free Spirit Wild Heart palette that looks like this. And they have the two sides. Comes with a little plastic thing. This one's still available. It's available right now for $20.99. So they kind of remind me of those Huda Beauty mini palettes. You see what I'm saying? And so it's like, you know, four mini palettes in one palette. My mirror came broken. Which side is it on? This one. But um, I didn't gripe about it. I was like, whatever. I'm, I don't plan on using 
you know, both mirrors. There's always another side, not that big of a deal. And it's a crack. <laughs> so I don't think any of the, any broken glass fell into the eye shadows. So I'm not really pressed. God forbid something happens to my eye, but kind of risking it. So this one is still available. Like, I'll show you the other ones just so you can see. But again, <laughs> you can't get them. I fell in love with a Daydreamer Night Thinker palette that looks like this. And I did reach out to them through their DMs to see whether or not these palettes are coming back. And uh, from what I can remember, I'll leave it up here somewhere, um, that they weren't or they were thinking about it or, you know, they, wasn't sh they weren't sure. This one is the... Let There Be Magic palette. The front of it looks like this. She's cute. And if you go onto their IG page, you would think they are Latinx owned, but they're not. They are Korean owned. I also confirmed that via DMs. And, and the last one is the Kale the Bailey and Kale the Bailey versus Kaylee. What? The Bailey versus Kaylee palette. It looks like this. I hope they bring them back. All right, so let's get started on this other eye. And for my base, I will be using the P. Louise Rumor 4 base. I don't even know why I use so much because I'm gonna end up rubbing some of this off for the lid, for my cut crease. So I don't have an excess amount of buildup of product. So the first palette I'm going to use is Girl Scout. No, is it Girl Scout? Yes, Girl Scout, the blue-green palette. And I'm going to go in with the shade Take It. That's this navy blue shade right here. And I'm just going to focus it on my crease. I don't set my base because you get the full pigmentation of your shadows. You can if you so choose to. I just don't. So I pat my eyeshadow and drag and so with this blue shade we're just going to create the outline of a wing these eyeshadows are extremely pigmented very good quality for the price okay so now that we have that down we're going to go into the purple haze palette and I'm going to go in with the shade Match Up, this dark purple right here. And I'm just going to lay it right on top of this. Not lay right on top of it, but slightly above this blue. And I know I plan on doing more wearable looks. But when I want to like display or show off products, I don't know why I feel like I have to use every shade there is to demonstrate. And I am a older content creator that loves makeup. And for ladies my age and older, I'm sure most of us don't gravitate towards looks like this. But I'm just showing color, demonstrating what these colors look like, and just the art of makeup. I will get into more wearable looks, even with color. Because you can have where you can do wearable looks, wear makeup or whatever, and it'd be presentable with a splash of color. And these palettes, I know people are like sensitive to smell. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> no, they don't have a smell, at least not for me. There is minimal fallout, if any. Yeah, there's some, but not a lot. And then we're going to go in with the shade Bubba Kush. This, I don't know, magenta kind of shade. And this is where I feel like I had an issue meshing these two shades together. You see how the purple and the pink are just not working well together. I didn't have any issues with the blue and the purple. But this pink and purple are just not connecting. <laughs> They're not vibing. And so once you lay down your color, you can go back in. If you're not satisfied with what you see, you can go back in and continue to apply some color and blend it out. 
which I am going to do. Because when you start blending colors together, sometimes one shade gets lost in the midst of the blending and you just want to vamp it up some. And I'm going in, what color is this? Match up. And so I'm going to go back into the Girl Scout palette and go back in with that navy blue. Take it. It just feels so awkward sometimes when you've been gone so long to get back in front of the camera and start working. <laughs> now I'm going to go into the orange, the orange pot palette and use the shade Cannabis, which is odd. Why is it orange? But okay. And I'm just going to place this orange shade right at the brow bone, right above this pink. And this shade for real in the pan, it doesn't even look this vibrant. It looks like it would be a little paler than what shows up. And so you see I'm only going like halfway in, like mid brow, blend it with that pink. And with the same brush, I'm just wiping it off in a paper towel. And I'm gonna go in with this mustard orange, no mustard orange, mustard yellow and OG Queen, this shade right here. And I'm starting at the beginning of my brow and taking it towards the middle. All right, and then so I'm going to take the brush that I used in the Girl Scout palette with the um, Take It shade and I'm gonna go into High. It's this matte glitter black. Like I use it on this eye and you, you, the glitter doesn't show up for real. And I'm just going to intensify. So what I'm gonna do, since I laid that down already, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the crease. I'm gonna do it off camera just to save some time because at this point everybody should know how to cut a crease. If not, let me know down in the comment section if you want me to do an updated version of how I cut my creases so then you're able to do it. And I will be more than happy to do that for you as soon as I can. <laughs> so let me know in the comment section whether or not you want an updated cut crease. Okay, so I'm going to cut my crease and then I'll be right back. So our creases are cut and I used the P. Louise Mima Mitchell Acid Rain and Blunt Canvas. And so I'm going to go back in into the Girl Scout palette. I'm going to use Dub is this blue right here. I don't know why it's not focusing on. I am going to lose my lid if I never press record. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I'm going to really lose my lid if I never pressed. Oh my lord. Okay. My daughter, she came in and completely distracted me. Oh my god. I'm just going to hope that I recorded the majority of my lid but let's just say that I did it so let's quickly go over what I used damn it I really wanted you guys to see all right so for I had cut my crease I want to say that I had said that but then again I'm not sure if I hit record so when I cut my crease I cut it with the P Louise and the Mitchell damn it I hope I said this okay cut the crease with this and when I started doing my lid I worked from the outside in I used the shade dub this right this blue right here and then the next blue I used right here is blaze it you can see it when I finally get in front of the camera there's hiccups every damn day so annoying okay and then I'm gonna go into chronic it's this shimmer yellow right here the golden shade the shade right here and put it into my inner corner right on top of that yellow that I had laid down. I can never keep my eyes the same or identical. So what I'm gonna do again to save time, I'm going to put on my foundation. The, the products that I do not use on camera today, I'm definitely gonna leave down in the description box so then you know exactly what I'm gonna use. My foundation, my concealer today will be drugstore. But everything will be down in the description box so then you know what I'm using. I'm just trying to save time and clearly it's probably <laughs> I'm so bad. So I was so annoyed by not knowing whether or not I didn't even go back to see whether or not I filmed most of the eye look. 
but I forgot to add the glitter onto this eye, so let's do that now. So I'm gonna go into the Orange Pop palette, and I'm gonna use the shade Rolling Up as, this right here, let me see the glitter. I'm so close. This is tiny. I don't know if I should zoom in if it's a better. I feel like you guys can't get, because of the lighting, you can't get the true glimpse of the shade, but I'm going to use this glitter shade right here. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a little bit of my dual lash um, glue, and I am going to just start from right here, and then just tracing the cut crease. And so I'm taking this, um, I don't even know, Master Touch paintbrush, a round paintbrush, it's a little thin. I just have this frayed hair over here that just will not go back, but whatever. But this is a paintbrush that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I'm just going to dip, dip it into the glitter. I think with these glitter gel necessarily need to add glue but um, I'm going to anyway. And then so I am going to just tap and try to keep it thin. And this is something that you're gonna wanna like pace yourself, not rush it. Cause I don't want it to be like an overpowering, powering, oh, I hate saying that, powering <laughs> amount of glitter. Just a small amount. And it's a pretty shade. I'm gonna hope I am staying in focus because that's something else I'm gonna be like pissed off. If I'm not. There's that. I still have no indication on how I want to do the lower lash line. So while we're contemplating on what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and start working on the rest of my face. So the products I'm going to use for my bronzer and my blush today are from Alamar Cosmetics. So this is the brown, the, the bronzer, the bronzer palette. And let's see. It's called Bright and Bronze Comple Complexion Trio, and it's infused with hyaluronic acid. And this is the Dark Rich Palette, and this is Latina owned. I have been using this on the daily. She's cute. And the other one is the um, Blush Trio, and it's also for Dark Rich. And for my contour, I'm just going to use this. And I forgot I had it. I've had this the whole entire time. It's the Sasha Powder um, Blush. It's not a blush. It's, I mean, who uses it a blush? So I'm using this for my contour. But I've had this for years. This is also black owned. So I was wondering, I was like, listen, do I have any contour shades that are owned by black or Latina owned? And I was actually cleaning up my stuff and then I ran across it. That's when you know you have too much when you discover, like you end up shopping in your own stash. So I'm actually going to mix the two, cinnamon sugar and oi morena. These two, these two shades right here for my bronzer. So I think for my blush, I'm going to use um, Deserted, this orange shade right here. I like orange blushes. For me, it just doesn't. Like I don't need nothing else. Let 
Well, well the blush is not available. This sucks. Okay, let's try. Let me. Maybe I'm not looking in the right section. Search. I, why do companies do this? Okay, I'm sorry, guys. Another product that I thought that would be available to you guys is not, but it's a very good blush. The bronzer trio is available, but not this blush. So I'm gonna use my Professional Kiss New York Pro Touch Glow Bronze Powder in the shade Medium. This one here. I don't know why I go in with the brush like I dig. I'm going to go in with my Sasha Cosmetic Contour Shade. And did I say what the color was? This is matte brown. And this going to go like right where the beginning of my brow starts. So the beginning of my brow, so I can tell you that like, me and the English language are not friends. Nothing dark, I don't contour my nose. And I'm just gently applying the color and like going from the bridge of my nose all the way up to my brow. I'm gonna take a little bit of my um, Black Radiance Pressed Powder and Rich Mahogany and just dip. And mix it in. And just like this. So look like this. So let's finish up this eye look. I don't know. I know that I want to put it. Ooh. I'm gonna go in with this shade by LA Girl, their neon eyeliner. And, and fresh. And these eyeliners are creamy. So should we do orange? Yeah, I guess we can play in the orange palette a lot. So, so we're going to start off with the shade Cannabis right here. And we had used that. That's that brighter orange you see towards the brow bone. And we're going to stamp it right underneath our eyeliner. Okay, you see how bright this orange is and there's powder set that's not sticking to a base and look how vivid it is i'm just taking this blending brush with no product just to blend that out i'm digging it all right and i'm gonna go in with the same brush i just used to lay down cannabis i don't know if i want to go in with <laughs> with red eyes or low eyes these two right here. I'm not really sure. What? Let's try the red eyes. The red eyes appears to be like a neon red. And then we're going to stamp it right above, well, right below our fresh liner. We lose a little bit of the canvas on it. That's okay, we can always go back and add more cannabis. So that brightened it a little bit. I'm gonna wipe off red eyes and go back in with cannabis. 
And this was a pretty shade by itself. But we're just playing with color. And going right below. Okay. Okay, so since we have we've done the lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with my mascara and lashes. I will let you know what lashes I plan on using or what not plan on using. I swear. This is why you have to be consistent because when you are consistent, everything kind of flows. But then when you're gone for weeks at a time, when you get in front of the camera, you'll know what to say. You forget to see. Forget to you forget. <laughs> You don't you forget to speak English or you forgot to how to speak English, whatever. Even though I talk every single day to people. I'm gonna put on the mascara and I'm gonna come back with lashes, all that stuff on. And I will tell you what lash I used today. And then we'll do the lips. But I definitely want you to see the lip gloss I'm gonna use today. And yeah, we can wrap this up. Okay. So now for the final touch, I'm going to do my lips. I'm going to mix two lip liners. I mean, this one of them is not even a lip liner. It is an eyebrow pencil from NYX. And it is in black brown, I think. Yes, black brown. And uh, a lip liner from Alamada Cosmetics and Foqueta. But this one is, it's a pretty brown, like I'm going to show you. But is she too? She's too light for my liking. So I'm gonna go in with black, dark, black brown. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with Soketa. That's a rich brown. I'm hoping that. Alamad Cosmetic comes out with deeper shades. Okay, and for my gloss, it's from this small indie brand called Rosewood Cosmetics. The Rosewood, yes. And the only bad thing, I mean, she's starting off, she's a fairly new company, like baby new. And the gloss is right here. I will let you guys know what the gloss is down in my description box because she failed to put the name of it here. I have used this gloss already and I love it, but um, there's no name on it. She's a new company, so I don't, again, I don't fault the, the, new, the new babies who are coming on board doing their thing. But this is what the shade looks like. Just like this is plastic film over it so it doesn't spill. It does come, you can get the lip glosses in a jar or in a tube. And this shade, I believe at the time when I bought it, it didn't, there weren't any tubes left. I don't mind this jar. Is it, is it a jar? Yeah, I wouldn't mind. I don't mind this jar at all. I mean, mind you, tubes are more convenient to take it with you. But if you are actually, if you are a makeup artist, stuff like this is convenient so that you can put it on a palette and use it from there and just do this. I'm gonna take a little bit of this Melt Cosmetic Liquid Lipstick in Golden. Because it was handy, it was right here. <laughs> I don't even know why I did this lip combo because when I ordered, and I completely forgot, and it was right near me. When I ordered these palettes from Car Beauty, they sent free lippies. So, oh, damn it, I could have, didn't even think. So they sent this shade, which might have been too much because the eye look is so out there. So this is a liquid lipstick in the shade Escape. And I'll do a quick swatch. There's a magenta. She's pretty. I don't totally forgot. And then the other one is a lip gloss. And it's called After Hours. Yeah, this is a liquid rouge glitter gloss. And this, and the shade Escape is the Liquid Rouge Metal Lipstick. And this is the shade After Hours. 
and these are free with my order. I don't know if they're still doing that, but for me, this is what I got. So, this is Escape and After Hours. So, this is the final book. What do you think? Yeah, I really enjoyed using these palettes. I think they are great quality. I think that for $14.99, you get great pigmentation, great blendability. I did have a little issue with the purples and the oranges, but on this side, it looked like it worked a little better. On, on, on my left eye, I struggled a little bit, but overall, they're very soft, very blendable, minimal fallout. The shipping wasn't that long. I, it was only a few days in between from when I ordered it and when I received it. I wouldn't say it was no longer than a week from start to finish from the ordering process to the receiving process. So if you're interested in seeing other things they have to offer, I will leave their information down in my description box of the website and their Instagram handle. And yeah, I mean, they're very inexpensive. I want to say they're in comparison to like more, more fee prices with better quality, at least in my opinion. Okay, and that is all. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I missed you guys oh so much. I will do way better, but I'm truly juggling two jobs. One, I juggle as I see fit, but my nursing job by itself is doing the most, and I have to do my second job, try to get some hours in doing that, as well as raising a family, picking up my daughter up from work. So life has been hectic, but just know that I truly enjoy doing videos, and I definitely want to push more out, and I'm trying. <laughs> So thank you so much for your support. Thank you for hanging out with me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to connect with your girl on social media, by all means, check me out on everything Tally is eye candy. And that's on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat sometimes. And I also have a second Instagram page, and it's called Beauty from the Inside Out 365. And for my lashes, I forgot to mention that. For my lashes, I really don't know where they're from. I actually won this in a giveaway, and it was through Batty um, Cosmetics. So I don't even think it's their brand. I don't know where they got these from, because I did receive products in their giveaway that wasn't from them. But um, yeah, they're cute. I mean, they're probably no more than a dollar or whatever, but they're cute, and I didn't want to put anything real, like, you know, dramatic on my eye when my eye is already doing the most. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you all in the next. Bye.